Hey, I'm Boone Hopkins. I'm the 12th president of Converse University. It's a university established in 1889 and was really built on this radical idea um, that women from Spartanburg, South Carolina didn't need to be shipped off to New England, um, but instead could have a world-class education right here in Spartanburg. Historically, we are a private liberal arts institution, but as we have grown and expanded, we've also added graduate programs. In 1964, we added master's programs, um, and recently we added a doctoral program um, and became a level six degree granting institution, which allows us to give the EDD in professional leadership. Um, it's been a wildly successful program for us. Um, and I think it encapsulates a lot of our passion for developing students into transformative leaders. Um, our founder's ideal is to develop students who see clearly, decide wisely, and act justly. Um, and we try to live into that every day. It was a, a study that we embarked upon about four years ago when we started looking very carefully at enrollment trends and recognized that only 2% of graduating students would actually consider a women's college. You have to think about that. I mean, it's 2% of 50%. So um, we were really fighting with one arm tied behind our back in terms of attracting students. And we recognized that um, the, the difficult decision to go co-ed would still need to have an opportunity to protect what so many of our alums hold dear, and that is the women's college experience. Um, so as we made this transition to welcome male students to campus, um, we also made an intentional decision to invest in the Converse College for Women um, that is within the university. Um, structurally, it works that students are admitted to Converse University, um, but then through a separate application process, they're admitted into the Converse College for Women. Um, and I always like to, to brag that we budgeted for 150 students for this experience. We now have over 300 young women who have raised their arm and said, I want to be a part of this living, learning sisterhood um, that has meant so much to generations of our alums. Well, certainly the enrollment um, that we've seen and the growth in enrollment has been really a powerful vote of, vote of confidence around um, this decision to change um, and, and to go co-ed. Um, I think, you know, probably the place where you can feel it most is within the energy of campus that is less tangible than those uh, growing enrollment figures. Um, and just the, the student energy on campus, um, the student participation in our programs and activities on campus. A great example I always like to point to for this is when um, the women's basketball team plays. Now the entire men's soccer team comes into the gym um, and gets rowdy. And so uh, there have been just so many highlights of how incorporating these men to our campus um, has been really helpful and enriching to the overall community. So we get to come out of this challenging conversation um, into what the future of Converse is going to look like. And so we have launched in our new strategic vision plan um, that's really built on three pillars. How can we enhance Converse as people, um, grow and expand the places on campus where those people interact with our students? Um, and finally, how can we expand our academic program mix to make sure that we're giving our students the best um, in terms of their preparation for their future lives as leaders in the community. Um, so that strategic vision plan um, is just starting this spring. Um, we're very excited about the potential and it's grown out of the campus. I think this is one of the benefits from me having been here for 10 years and working through various faculty and, and leadership roles on the administration. We were really able to put our finger on what does this campus community need to get to the next level of our success. Um, and so through that, that planning process and through establishing this vision, this isn't something that a consultant came in and said, wouldn't it be great if Converse did? Um, but it's truly born from our people. And I think from that, we will find tremendous success and find it much faster um, than we would if it had been imposed upon us. So the conversations that happen around kitchen tables, around the college experience are, are so important. And we know that there's a lot of consideration around affordability, um, but also around, you know, what does it mean to invest in a child's education? And why should I choose college 
um, when there are so many other things that an 18-year-old can now do um, uh, when they leave. One of the things that we think is so important, particularly for our students today, is that we offer them a chance to connect with a community, a network of alums that are going to be able to help them launch into that first job, but also the skills that they need here to be able to connect more effectively and to be able to grow around their passions. So um, we did a deep dive on our students and found that they are career pragmatists and they want to know that their investment in a Converse education is going to lead to a strong job. But what our faculty know is that what that first job is may not look anything like what the second or third job is and what students need is a skill set that will help them navigate an ever-changing world. Um, and we think our curriculum offers that through the different Common Core experiences, but also through the ways that we build our majors around real world experiential learning um, through a classical education. I encourage everybody to set foot on this campus. Once you can see the magic of Converse, you like, like I did, will fall in love with this place and you'll know that it's the right place for you to build your future.